Hello and welcome to Adam's Minecraft Sketchbook. In this episode, we are looking at scoreboards and how we can manipulate them. Uh, but we're going to be manipulating them in a very special and unique way. Hopefully unique. Probably won't be after I've, uh, I've, I've given it away. But anyway, uh, let's uh, let's have a little go with it and, and see what happens. It's in very early stages and, um, and I'm going to be doing some unique stuff with it. So Django, at the moment we've got two players. We're playing on a server. Uh, Django, if you just want to um, log yourself out... And go into the special plays that we uh, we talked about earlier. Uh, what I want Django to do is I want you to increase. We've got a couple of scoreboards. Let me show you the scoreboard first. So we've got a scoreboard set up. I've already set that up for myself, and it's called Test Var, and it's, so it's Test. And we're going to display that uh, if we look here on the sidebar. So Django, could you give me uh, one one score? Okay, brilliant. And now keep going up. Keep sending my score up. Fantastic. Now uh, let's just check. Django's not in the server, so how how is he controlling my score? Okay, I'm very mysterious. Uh, so le Django, let's let's open this door over here. Do you remember which one that was? I think that was that one. Okay, the door opened. Okay, and that's because we've got a little command block down here saying it tests for a minimum of a hundred and a kind of maximum of a hundred. And if it, if it is, then we open that door. Which is fantastic. Uh, also, we can hear a little piano playing over here. Let's go over to this piano here. I've got. Uh, I'm setting up uh, a piano system over here as well. Now, the way this is actually working is that we've set up uh, a, a bucket plugin. We've written a bucket pl plugin. When I say me, I, so I've uh, I, I've I've helped someone code. There's a guy called Carl, and he's helped. Uh, I gave him some information and bits and pieces. He's an expert with Java, uh, JavaScript, and he helped me write a bucket plugin. Uh, and when I say help me, he kind of wrote it himself. Uh, but uh, I, I kind of was there saying I wanted to do this and I wanted to do that. Uh, but um, yeah, Carl was very generous. He did that, and uh, we we got a kind of bucket plugin. It's based on a JSON API, uh, and it means that we can change the scoreboards in game we can actually set up a scoreboard and we can kind of change it so we need to go here and we need to set one up uh, but what the bucket plugin will it will look for test var and it will change the test var for whoever's on the game okay so it needs to be players or you can even have it as individual players too uh, why is this interesting well we can obviously uh, have a web uh, you use a web interface really to do to make changes in a world and uh, now that's interesting, I think, because say you're a Twitch user and you're running an adventure map, you could have your audience actually control some of your environment, all right? Uh, either by uh, you know opening doors for you, or kind of or voting, in, in fact, or spamming that button so one of these doors opens or not. Okay, so it's one of these. You know, we could have a dungeon. This is what I'm making a little dungeon over here for. And basically, um, what will happen is underneath here, we're going to have different variables. So we're going to have door two, door three, door four. And if the audience spams the button and reaches a certain target, then what will happen is uh, each of those doors will open. So it really depends on your audience. And hopefully, it, it will encourage audience participation. That's a kind of a Twitch map thing, and we, we I'm going to be inviting Dragnos into this world uh, early this week, and we'll be ha hopefully having a little play with all these kind of tools there, and hopefully we'll be you know coming up with some really interesting ideas. My other idea that I'm playing with is a musical instruments, um, and uh, I've got I've set up uh, the different musical instruments within Minecraft within the note block set section. We've got a kind of I think this is a snare, uh, and this is sticks. And um, what's this one? If we just have a look, there's a piano. This is the piano, and there's a bass and stuff. So I, I'm setting up uh, a sequence. So basically, if, Jang, if you could press a 100, set the um, set the thing for 100. I think we need to set it for a thousand first, and then and then set it for 100. Uh, so I've set this to play a single note. So it looks a bit complicated because basically, um, it spawns a redstone block. Uh, I want to reduce the score here, <laughs> and uh, we're going to set the block air so it gets rid of it as well. Uh, and so um, it, it's, it does that. Oh, we've actually spawned a zombie as well. So you can spawn mobs. So look, we've put a... Hi. So we've got here... These are my experiments with it. So basically, we can open a door. 
we can summon a zombie and we can set block now there is a problem there's quite a huge problem. Let's move away from him. There's a quite a huge problem. That one of the problems is because we're having to use bucket. Uh, bucket doesn't really. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, uh, Iron Golem. Bucket doesn't really like um, summon. Summon is sort of broken, and also set block is kind of broken. So I've had to cheat and use uh, two more bucket plugins to fix summon and to fix uh, set block. And they're not perfect at the moment. But in time, what I'm hoping to do is. You know, and especially when we get to 1.8 with the clone and the fill tools and all those extra tools that we've got going on, I'm hoping that all those things will work within the bucket server, and people have got the will get a hang of it by then, and uh, we can do all that amazing things. We have wave machines. We can change the environment. We can bring things in. We can make spawn castles, and audiences can do that. Uh, the piano over here is what I want to do. I want to kind of create someone who doesn't really play Minecraft, but who could m maybe do a performance, maybe actually play the piano or play musical instruments within Minecraft, or maybe even have a jam. So kind of, you know, you can have lots of people on different websites all playing different particular different instruments and kind of then all watching a Twitch stream and playing a bit of music live. That's kind of what I'm interested in. I'm interested in that kind of collaborative online thing that maybe not even people who play Minecraft can actually partake in as well. Uh, so uh, hopefully that's uh, that's kind of explained it to you. Um, any comments, questions, uh, or kind of ideas that you've got, do leave them in the comments below. If you've liked this video and you'd like to know more, please do subscribe and do give it a like as well. It'd be really appreciated. And uh, I'll get back to you soon. We'll probably be doing a lot more of this stuff very shortly so do keep tuned in as well and follow me on twitter if you want to uh, that's often where i'm going to release a lot of information too until next time thanks very much for listening goodbye say goodbye bye, bye. <laughs>